not real, right? She's a computer. Her voice gives me butterflies. Hey, do you think she's listening to us when we masturbate? <laughs> hey! I'm in my zone. Um, you... So I've spoke to everybody else from the show except for you three. So I'm very excited to wow. have this opportunity. Nice to meet you. I think you gave us a very nice review on YouTube if memory serves. So thank you very much, dude. Absolutely. And it's genuine. Um, you all spoke to me with the show. Um, and, and I knew how it was gonna be kind of like a thing either you know about it and you don't. And I was like, people were like, you know, if you know, you know, if you don't, you don't. What can you do? You know, you can't service everybody. So uh but yeah, my name's Nigeria of Big O Belt Media, and it is a pleasure to speak to the three of you finally to talk yes. some Fairfax season two. Now, I, my biggest thing, and I was thoroughly surprised. I mean, October 29th was just around the corner and already coming back June 10th for season two, which brings me to my question. Was it all done all together and you just chopped it up? Kind of, yes and no. Yeah. Uh, the first season we wrote That's in the true. summer of 2019, and the second season we wrote in the summer of 2020, and we produced all 16 episodes continuously starting in 2020. So they were written about a year apart, but made all together, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah Whatever animation nope. works is like the production schedule it's easier to keep the train on the tracks the whole time basically and you yeah. have these incredible artists that are on your project and artists a lot of times through these production houses like some would they'll jump up from one show to the next to the next to the next and if you want to keep them all together for your the you know the period of your show you got to just keep making television so yeah. to keep those artists on board it was just having to constantly work and so the two seasons were made back to back. It was a wild ride. Yeah, because I, I was going to say, like, the biggest thing with going from one season to the next is always, to me, the continuity. Sometimes the chase, the, the the pacing can be different. You know, sometimes folks get like, hey, we got the first season out the way. Let's crank it up a little bit. But this felt super consistent. I mean, immediately first episode, you're right back into it as if you've never left, which I really appreciate. And, and, and like I said, it's, it's unconventional. So I like I felt really refreshing coming into it that way like wow well how much time did pass i mean like, <laughs> <laughs> like We're not, we can't answer here. the actual math part like we joke that season one all could have taken place in one week and we're gonna yeah. just stick to that and then season two just starts the following monday um <laughs> who knows how much time has been in between you know the the internet doesn't care <laughs> but you're right man. you're right it's uh it, like if anything, through the course of just animating the show, our animation team like yeah. found their rhythm and really like discovered what was working and wasn't working and how the show sings. And they also like, what are the like unique attributes of our show? What's something that we do differently? We like we like to think that our our characters talk like groups of kids talk, and that like they they almost talk on top of each other. It's not like waiting for a punchline after someone says something. Yeah, if someone's like on top of like as soon as that person stops talking on top of that line is the next line yeah our parents when we showed it to them they were like why do they talk so fast i can't understand them we we're like that's just because you're fucking old i love you though <laughs> we've came such a long way because i even thought about that too. i was like man we really were like that it was it was literally like building a big mac every time somebody got a word to say you just throw it in there don't wait till they finish just just yeah, get dude. your ingredients in there right now <laughs> so I, I i i do want to know um now, first of all, this culture is very particular. Now, I knew how you got the premise from growing up in the area and whatnot, and I and I and that's really important. I also think what's really important is how did you three not get and dive into the rabbit hole of this very particular culture of the sneakerhead community and so on, or did you at some point pry yourself out of it? Because as myself, as I always say, like a, as a former sneakerhead. Man, those were some very strange times in my life. You know, the, the commitments, the uh, large amounts of money that you just spend on things, the camping out for things. And like, that's why I love the show so much because now I can look back and laugh at it like, ha, look how stupid they are doing that. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> man. It, Go for it, Daddy. I, go ahead, oh, Teddy, Matt, you. sorry, Matt, were you jumping in? No, it, I, it's I, like, <laughs> sorry. You go, no, no, it, 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 <laughs> We're the, the, the fact of the matter is we're still those kids at heart. You know, yeah. like we all grew up 
spending our allowance on something dumb. It doesn't yeah. matter how old you are, whether it was Beanie Babies or shoes or or Pogs. basketball cards, whatever <laughs> it was, Pogs, fucking cardboard cutouts. Um, but but we've all been there and, and yeah. it meant something to us at the time. And that's kind of to us where the heart of the show comes from. But like, yeah. I mean, I'm looking to my left and I see the Wheaties Supreme box that Matt got me. Mm -hmm. And I'm online looking for PlayStation 5s on the black market everywhere every week like we're still kind of chasing yeah. those those hobbies yeah you don't we didn't like it never goes away you just get old enough and have enough kids to the point where you literally can't <laughs> yeah that's actually Aaron brings up a good point when when we i had a baby a year ago and when my wife was like i really want these wireless breast pumps so on the go like we could and i was like well fuck it then we're gonna find them aftermarket on ebay on yes. StockX. And I did, and I got an amazing <laughs> deal on them. And then when she stopped breastfeeding, I, I resold them. Like, it only Matt, only it Matt, what only it Matt gets his culture wife. never dies. Yeah. It's just only, the product. It's just the product that changes. Yes. Only yep. Matt gets his wife used breast pumps. Of course, <laughs> they, were, they were clean and sterilized. That's the hustle right there in a nutshell. <laughs> That's right. But but when we were all there, like I remember also like in high school going to New York <laughs> and visiting the Bape store with my friends. Yep. And and spending the most money I've probably still to this day ever spent on a hoodie, the uh, the purple camo that zipped all the way to the top. Yep. And I came yep. back just feeling like the coolest kid. And also like, I can never get this hoodie dirty. And it just, yep. that all of that, like those emotions that came with buying this thing <laughs> that like definitely couldn't afford, uh, you know, they're still fresh in our memories. And, and it just, like we said, looks a little different now. Yeah, I you know, a lot of things like to talk about nostalgia and whatnot, but like this is a little bit different because it's not only just the nostalgia that you're watching, you absolutely feel immersed in this adventure of what they're going through. You know, the one kid trying to fit in um, the, or, or trying to stand out at times, you know, trying to keep up on the latest trends. Like, again, we've been through all that. And, 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 and Teddy, you're absolutely right. I remember uh, my first babe hoodie. Um, I also remember buying a pair of shoes in, in elementary school and can't even wear them to recess because you can't get them dirty. So you bring an extra set yeah, yeah, so you yeah. can put those uh -huh. away. <laughs> so, <Of course. laughs> Did you ever get to the point where, like, how did you, um, how well maintained did you keep your sneaker collection? Were you like in the, in the, you know, plastic, each one had its own plastic bin? How, how intense did you get about it? I, I stopped right there. I was very dedicated about cleaning or dead stock, just not wearing them at all, keeping original boxes. I even have original receipts, but I got to a point where I was like, oh, this wrapping thing? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's that's it for me. <laughs> it is crazy. I also, I have a problem with the creasing, like the no crease thing. Like whenever you see a kid walking around, like waddling, because he doesn't want to crease his Jordan. <laughs> so silly to me and i'm like dog like if you're gonna if you're gonna buy them and you're gonna be open to wearing them then like crease them up like it's yeah. okay yours the crease you earned it you know yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> um so another question i wanted to ask now you know now that you ink the deal with amazon and you you're 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 ahead to uh season two i'm already ready for season three um something mm. that came to mind with is with the recent success of animated shows and series doing feature length films the simpsons kind of leading the way here now we see Bob's burger getting a jab at it has this like crossed your mind have you thought about ironing something out for about an hour and a half to two hours for us we always talk about i, I just want to just because I, I don't know what teddy Aaron said we always talk about doing a, a a christmas movie with glenn and quattro where they fly south to the dominican republic for christmas <laughs> like, it's, like, like, it's, own, it's own standalone thing, and then I'll, I'll let the dudes chime in. Yeah, the yeah. holiday special yeah. is is it? That's the one we've been eyeing. That's yeah. the, oh. but we are we are we're we're developing a ton more, and obviously love having like Amazon uh, giving us the first look deal. Really, was just kind of like vote of confidence to keep developing new content. So yeah, we're dude, we're we're like in the lab right now, cooking up material. It's uh. It's a ton of fun, but obviously Fairfax is our baby. So yeah. that comes first and then everything else is just gravy, you know? There yeah. was a moment after we turned in episode seven to season one, the episode where Benny's stuck in Korean church while the kids are going after the golden Dorito, where Amazon emailed us back with 
from the outline being like, you guys, this could be a movie. You know that, right? We were like, oh shit, that means we have to cut some stuff down. But we definitely <laughs> have had a couple storylines uh, where we were like, man, this would just be a kick-ass fucking movie too. I think episode two of season two is something yeah. that probably could have been a movie. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so even with all the creativity, um, all the uniqueness, and even all of the kind of the mirroring of all of our childhoods, I, I can say, at what point did you all say, "All right, this isn't good enough. Let's drop some cameos in here." I, I you know, we 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 know about Doctor Phil. There's another rap artist involved in this season, which I was like, "Whoa!" Did not see that one coming, but sort of how did you kind of vet this and how did you kind of just know that these were the right people to 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 make appearances here i think just kind of trusting like the room you know like it's us and and the rest of the writers and there are certain celebrities that just kind of jump out to us as being particularly good at the internet and like having <laughs> sound just being like kings and queens of sound bites or knowing people that i mean the show is so much about brands and and there are these celebrities on the show that are very aware of their brand and they yeah. and they in a very smart and and um cool way are able to kind of come in and, and be in on the joke and there's some really great surprises this season for people oh yes it is Hey, Matt, before we go, um, I would yeah. be remiss if I didn't say I um, have to kind of figure out oh, how in the world can I get me that poster behind you? You know what? Honestly, if you ask one of the wonderful, nice people that work in PR that set this up, they'll probably find a way to get you one because that one was sent to us by them the day our show came out, October 29th. We would, we would, we would love, love, you love to get you one. Yeah, yeah. I, I would appreciate that. You can dethrone the Avengers finally. And I got to say, I'm a little in my feelings because in in season one, I had no clue that a pop-up shop was happening. And then a couple of my uh, buddies was like, dude, we watched your review. And then all of a sudden we go down the street and like, there, it's, a, it's a pop-up shop. I'm like, what? Yeah, <laughs> like, we, I didn't know we, you. we can get you some latrine stuff too, I'm sure. We'll make sure of it. Yeah, man, we'll send us, uh, we'll get your info and, and send you a couple of goodies, man. That's awesome. And we got to swap it. that poster out, dude. We're in a post Thanos world. You got to get that <laughs> end game poster yeah. out of there. We don't give a shit about Thanos anymore. <laughs> fair, fair, fair <laughs> enough. So so last question, because I'm, I'm sure I'm coming up on my time. Uh, and again, I'm just jumping a little bit ahead here. But with season two coming up, um, and, and we really see the, the, the uh, we can almost say the turf wars again with the brands. And, and, and we're seeing these characters mature more and more. Could you talk a little bit now, possibly, where you might want to see Gang Gang go for season three? Woo! I mean, that's a great question. Aaron, did you have one that you wanted to say right off the top? No, I was just gonna say, I think that like, with this, the evolution, starting with NFTs, the evolution, just like the way uh -huh. Web3 and internet culture is yeah, like working it itself into, the like commodification and like copying of stuff. Like again, like, like, and, and we're not, we're not even knocking it. Like, I try to grab it myself. Like, I'm knocking it. I'm officially knocking it. You're fucking dumb. Are you? I don't know, dude. Look, somebody's people are making money off this shit. Look, we chase not me. We chase hogs. <laughs> how can we? Like, how people who literally bought little fucking cardboard circles. How can we shit on people who are copying? They existed <laughs> because they were a tangible thing you could touch. That's Dude, how. This is classic. This is a classic Benny well, and Truman argument. The, you know what? <laughs> some hoodlum NFT gets you into a night gets you into a nightclub in Vegas. So take that. Because it also gets you COVID if you go to that <laughs> yeah, nightclub. It's true. It's true. <laughs> yeah, I think I think internet culture those like like. like like literal internet culture, Web3 stuff is all- Yeah, we want to tackle Web3 with. and AIs and all that fun stuff. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was an interesting aspect on this season, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't want to go further with it. <laughs> Well, gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. And I wish that uh, I can just sit here and chat forever. It almost feels like the homie since day one. And I really appreciate you all bringing this show to life. Um, again, Thank uh, you. very genuine in my uh, re my review. Like this, this was something that was truly made for me. And every bit of my friends who may not be in big into entertainment as I am, I say, hey, this is our childhood right here. Y'all need to go turn this on. Like, this is what we do. And they was like, dude, I watched it, didn't get up. I was hooked. You were right. And they already were looking for season two. 
me were like, hey, season two, probably sometime 2023. Then I was like, guess what? Coming back <laughs> June 10th, folks. So June 10th, Fairfax That's season right. two. We sing it in episode one, baby. If you know, you know. That's right. That's right. Thank you, gentlemen, so much for the opportunity. And we'll, we'll, we'll be in touch. Yeah, thank, thank you, man. Thank you, man.